I think that it's important to understand how type 2 diabetes actually works, how it actually functions, because I believe if you understand the disease, you can defeat the disease. Now, type 2 diabetes is not your friend. <laughs> it's trying to destroy your body, one organ at a time. It's a ferocious beast. It is an insidious animal that's trying to destroy you. Now, I know my chart doesn't really get that across. In fact, my daughter said, Dad, the diagrams are a little boring. They don't really match your words. You need a picture. You need something that shows that this disease is serious, that this disease will actually destroy a person's body. So I gave it some thought. I thought about the monsters that scared me when I was growing up. I know I'm dating myself, but I remember Frankenstein, the monster, and the Wolfman. Man, that was a scary dude. And uh, well, the other one, the vampire, what was his name? You know who I'm talking about. What was his name? I am Dracula. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and, and you know Dracula, the way he would uh, suck the blood and you get tired. It, it was just like diabetes, you know, he, he drains your energy. And so, the more I thought about type 2 diabetes, it's like one of these monsters, or it's actually a combination. And I decided to create a monster. A metaphor, if you will, a picture of type 2 diabetes so that you'll understand this is what you're fighting this is what you want to destroy now in order to destroy diabetes in order to destroy the beast well, we have to understand what makes the beast so strong why is diabetes such a difficult disease to beat well, first of all, we know that if we eat unhealthy foods, <laughs> the rice, potatoes, the corn, the grains, the cereals, we know those particular foods make diabetes stronger. We know that if we live a sedentary lifestyle, that makes the beast stronger. And medication. Yeah, I know you think the medication is working. <laughs> it's not. It actually makes the beast stronger and lack of knowledge. If you don't have the right information to defeat the beast, then you're not going to win the battle. Now, as you're probably aware, you got three choices in terms of how are you going to deal with the beast? How are you going to deal with your diabetes? Option number one, you could ignore the beast. That's called denial. And you hope he goes away, <laughs> but you know that he won't. Option number two, you can drug the beast, take medication. Yeah, it lowers your blood sugar, seems to calm the beast, seems to calm your diabetes, but the diabetes gets worse. Have you ever noticed anyone on diabetic medication getting better? No. Option number three, kill the beast before it kills you. I, I think I'll go with option number three. So, if you go with option number three, then when you eat healthy foods like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, spinach, wild salmon, when you eat these types of superfoods, this weakens the beast. This weakens your diabetes and you get stronger. When you exercise, that actually makes the beast weaker and again you get stronger and by eating healthy you're no longer dependent on the drugs so you can wean off the drugs safely and as you wean off the drugs the beast ain't happy <laughs> it makes the beast weaker and again you get stronger so let's kill the beast let's kill the monster let's kill diabetes